What is up? I'm Wanna Turtle and welcome to a new Pokemon. Today we're going to be looking at the very interesting market that is the Reshizards. And uh, the first card in question, or just because it's very interesting, the first card in question is the... Uh, so recently got this back from PSA, did get a 10, which was awesome. I actually think I got pretty lucky, pretty lenient 10, probably week 10. You can see this border is actually pretty thick. So the centering is definitely not perfect. Uh, but yeah, this is a promo and uh, came from the figure collection box. MSRP was $30. And what we're gonna be doing is comparing this to another card I recently got back from a different submission, the Rainbow Rare Reshizard. This one did get nine, struggling to get that 10. Here's one I got back from a bunch of months ago. So took a couple chances, still haven't got that 10. And um, yeah, so this one you have to pull from the pack. Uh, so it is a rainbow rare so very difficult to pull was the chase card and yeah I was really hoping this card would do well and what we're gonna find out is it's not doing well it's doing pretty good uh, but this is really the interesting case let's just take a quick look at the art uh, so yeah just a typical rainbow rare it is attacking so Charizard is sharing uh, the spotlight with Reshiram and I guess you know in hindsight the art isn't fantastic uh, I would say Burning Shadows was definitely better. And then we're going to take a look at the promo, which wasn't that hard to find back in 2019. I'm pretty sure I passed by it in the stores and passed up on it because I had a good amount of pre-orders. Uh, but let's just compare the arts. And this one is amazing. Um, and this was basically in a time where all right, they put out the, um, in the set, they had the regular, the full art secret rare and then they would put out alternate art promo which was very cool especially when the promo is this awesome uh when i look at this art i kind of vision like it's tag team so they're on the same team they're partners and they just finished a battle and they're like victory posing and then you look in the background and like all right after the battle the, the world is on fire so this art was absolutely amazing and the moral of this video is that you know regardless of how actually you know Grading patterns and, you know, just the market patterns can lead to some very interesting things. And secondly, one takeaway for me is like a good art is good art. Doesn't matter how you get the card and it ends up being a good collectible. So let's take a look at the numbers uh, to dive a little bit further into this. All right, so we're going to start things off with the regular uh, Reshi's art, which actually was a pretty cool art. You know, they're kind of like attacking where all the other ones are kind of just posing. Uh, we had pop report on top and then I'll kind of like keep them in the bottom right. So uh, about 1500 grade at this time, it does seem like it's a pretty easy 10 with a very solid three to one ratio between tens and nines. And as far as like, how is that faring so far? Looks like it's about, so this one, first one was actually two cards. Uh, so we'll give it a solid 110 as far as market value. Let me just label that real quick. And then let's move on to the full art. Bring up the pop reports and move over one tab. Full art, um, usually a lot of times I was a big fan of the full arts, I, especially when they have a nice background that makes the art pop. This one wasn't great in all honesty. And this is the art that they use for the rainbow rare. So in a way, like the regular was kind of not, the base art was different than the full art, which is kind of interesting. Uh, so it looks like these guy, this guy, I, I think I put 250. This one is lower at one point for 200. Uh, but then there were some sales for a little bit higher. Uh, so we'll give this one a 250 at this point. And now let's take a look at the rainbow rare. So this is where things get interesting. Let me pull up the pop reports. All right, so um, let's take a look at the report. Uh, so, um, you know, still a good amount of tens, definitely not the ratio as some of the other ones, uh, which is why I'm struggling to get that 10. And then as far as like where the 10 is selling, uh, looks like it's about uh, best offer accepted. Uh, looks like sometimes listed around 700 something you can see get for a little over 600 but I think I gave this like a 650 uh, about about for the market price and all right now this is where things get interesting and kind of like when I just started researching because I just got these cards from back from PSA just want to see where they're at and then it's like hmm wow I was not expecting this so let's take a look at the pop report for the promo and so only 600 graded all together uh, compared to the secret rare which was um, so I think at the bottom over more of those were 10 than all these were graded all together so the interesting thing is 
just straight from the Pokemon website. Uh, so once upon a time, these guys were going for $30. Guaranteed the promo. You get this cool figure. Uh, the only thing that, um, assuming that this thing is correct, I don't remember, uh, but I'm just going to go with it. It only looks like it might have only had four packs, which is actually kind of high. I feel like typically these um, products, you know, you get the the typical $5 per pack. So maybe the price was a little bit higher for like the packs you get, but we're going to focus on the promo. You can pick up the promo for $30. And But how are they selling right now? If you can get a PSA 10, which we were lucky enough to do so. 450 was the last one sold and um yeah looks like one of them went for 500 and then you know if you, as you go further back uh the grade does kind of like lower and to be honest i felt like these 300s maybe was about maybe it's about right again the art is really cool and it's just going up um there's not too much sales data so i think i'm going to put this one at 400 plus uh, just because it's a very interesting situation right now where there are so few of them graded. And actually another uh, relevant note is look at the ratio from 10s to 9s where there's actually significantly less 10s. And this kind of goes back to I'm pretty sure this product had like the plunger so you didn't have like the prongs of death. But uh, from my own experiencing experience opening a bunch of the Shining Fates premium collection boxes with like the Dragapults and the Crobats was that those still have damage uh, like there's like a slight bend in them and I can't remember if these uh, promo Reshizards were victim to a similar thing uh, the pop report would suggest that uh, but you know this is a very interesting situation where the promo which was readily available in fact I think for from like a competitive perspective this was like the the budget way <laughs> if if, uh, uh, if you didn't buy stuff off secondary market you're just like opening packs or picking up boxes like this was the easiest way to create your reshizar deck um and then as a result like but because of grading patterns just not that many graded um compared to the fact that the art is just awesome uh you know actually is fetching a really high price i think what one thing that'll be interesting is to recheck these numbers let's say uh, three six twelve months in the future when you know the psa backlog is hopefully cleared out and then if you are to send in new cards it doesn't take literally 11 months to get back which that's how long it took this card to get back uh just because you know when when i kind of look at these numbers i wonder if other people are just gonna like all right do i have any of these from the boxes that i opened are they well centered do they have uh damage and let me queue those up to be sent to psa i think i'll take a pass although i'm pretty sure i've sent all of mine in already uh but based on these numbers you know it does feel like they're um you know this card was just kind of under the radar and again uh now collectors are starting to appreciate the awesome art that they have for this card so you know things will kind of maybe correct themselves based on how many are out there so I thought this was a very interesting, um, yeah, just an interesting case uh, for a very beautiful card in my opinion. And uh, yeah, so I just want to share it with you guys. And um, yeah, so if there are any topics that you would like to see covered on this channel, let me know in a comment down below. Primarily, I just cover things that kind of like impact myself in my own collection because as I find interesting uh, stories like this, I decided, let me just share this with you guys. So. That's going to do it for me today. As always, like, comment, and subscribe down below. It does help the channel. Huge shout out to all the patrons and Twitch subs. And uh, yeah, I'm Juana Turtle. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.